Well, hey there, it's John here, and I'm back in the Eastman Discovery Lab at the Hands-On Discovery Center with another activity that you guys can do right at home. Today, we're going to be making optical illusions using my favorite chemical, you all know this by now, dihydrogen monoxide, or water. Water has a very cool property, actually a lot of substances do, but water in particular, because you can find it pretty much in every room of your house. It reflect, refract, wow, refracts or bends light as it changes from traveling through air, traveling through water, and then traveling through air again, it refracts or bends the light to make some cool optical illusions. And you've probably seen this before. If you take a straw, here I happen to have a metal straw, very sturdy, it's not gonna bend very easily, and place it in a glass. Ooh, Ooh. science. It's just a straw in an empty glass. But when you add water, watch what happens. A glug, 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 glug. As we fill this glass up, the light that is bouncing off of the straw is now having to change direction. As it leaves the water, it bends, reaching the air, making it look like I've magically, superhuman strength, bent this straw, when in fact, nothing happened to it. We're just bending the light using this property of refraction. We can take it one step further. Here I have a giant glass vase filled most of the way with water. And on this piece of paper, I have drawn two rectangular bars, one red, one blue. Watch what happens when I lower it behind this vase of water. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, da -dum. Whoa, do you notice something weird? All of a sudden, those bars seem to have swapped colors. Maybe the water is like changing the property of the color itself, turning the blue red and turning the red blue. That's not quite what's happening here. Again, we are bending those light rays to the point that you are actually seeing an inverted image. Don't believe me? Try this one. Take a piece of paper and draw several arrows pointing in one direction. Right now, they're going over there. Drop it behind our water glass. Bottom, 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 bottom. What? What? All of a sudden, those arrows are pointing in the other direction. Pointing that way. Whoop. Pointing that way. And you can take this as crazy and get as creative as you want with it. You could actually just take a piece of paper, maybe draw like a little smiley face. There we go. I'm going to do it upside down and backwards. How about that? Ooh. Maybe he's winking with one eye so we can really tell a difference. Of course, he wants to be nice and happy. You can try, like, writing words backwards. This one I do have to do right side up. Let's try an H that looks like that. An E. L, L, O. And then try to correct it by using refraction and passing it behind the water. Oh, that's so weird. That's so cool. You can also turn this into an experiment by trying out different styles of glasses. Try glass bottles or plastic bottles. See which ones work the best. Also, you can swap up what's inside because, as I said, not only water is, uh, can refract the light. Try using, like, soda or salt water. You can even try, like, vegetable oil. See how many different combinations of refractions you can come up with at home. Also, be sure to hit that thumbs up button, guys, if you like this video, and subscribe to our channel so you never miss a new video upload. Also, check the description below. We might have some information on how you guys at home can help us keep the science alive. But I just heard the oven timer go off, and I think that means blueberry muffins are ready. Bye, guys!